Man. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Successful draft. Virtual draft. This draft was actually kind of interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Quarantine draft, it was actually <laughs> it was actually better. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another sports video. Alright, let's get going. This draft was funny. Man, we seen mamas pulling off white girlfriends off of the sons. <laughs> we seen CD Lamb technically cheating. <laughs> if that girl still stay with him, she's stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bruh, this draft was life. This draft went successful, you know. I did miss the walking up on stage and seeing and hearing all the booze and stuff from the commissioner, but I liked it. Now, forget everybody else. Let's talk about what the Lions did. Man, I'm not going to lie. A lot of people don't like it because they're going to find something to hate on. They're going to find something to hate on. It don't matter what you do in life. People's just going to find something to hate on, bro. Like, that's what I learned in life. No matter if the Lions draft. If the Lions would have drafted all the positions they needed, say say if all they needed was a QB when Matt, Matt Stafford gets traded in the near future because the Lions might do something stupid like that or retire. In the draft, he might look for a QB. What if we draft a QB, but they might be like, well, that's not the QB we wanted. We can't do nothing right for people. So... It's just like, whatever. To me, I felt like this draft was successful. I felt it was a a well-put-together draft. The first ever draft put together that was a better draft than 2011. When when we got Nick Fairley in them, I think this this is it. For real, for real. Okay, let's go over. Uh, the with the first-round pick, number three pick, we got Jeff Okuda. Ohio State person. Y'all know how I feel Ohio State. But I ain't gonna bash him today. You know why? Because this is actually a great pickup. We got rid of Darius Slate and we needed a shutdown corner. Do I believe he's a shutdown corner? No. Because he ain't shut down our receivers. He hell, but whatever. Tape shows he's a shutdown corner. So, if I'm not mistaken, he could be put into the starting lineup immediately. So, Jeff Okuda. You reading this, you Ohio State loving mother? Hey, you gonna be put into the starting lineup, so be prepared, bro. Who who's gonna who's there that's gonna? Well, Desmond Trufant. So you might be special teams because we got Coleman. Yeah, you might be special teams. You might get in a couple plays, but be ready, bro, because you' gonna be in. Great pickup. Um, don't like him. He's from Ohio State, but hey. He's an athlete. He's a freak. So let's get it going. With this, oh my goodness. Second round pick with 35th pick. I did not expect it. I was joking and laughing with some buzz of mine and on Facebook. And I just and I just said it. It was like at 9 o'clock in the morning. I was just like, man. But if we draft DeAndre Swift. If we draft him, we could potentially get rid of Bo Scarbro or whatever his name is, Scarbo, and we can make some stuff pop. Guess what we got? We got DeAndre Swift from Georgia, a first round talent. I don't know how he slipped into the second round, but he slipped into the D. So DeAndre Swift. Get ready because you fit to be a potential starter. You are fit to be heavily equipped into this offense. I don't know how, but some telling me you are. We are not fit to let this talent be wasted on the sideline for next season. Forget that. Next pick, we got Julian Aquara. If y'all don't know who he is, he is the younger brother of Robert Aquara. He's from Notre Dame. This is great to be opposite of his brother. We need a line. 
We have Trey Flowers. I don't know if Mike Daniels coming back, but we just got rid of Snacks Harrison since he wanted to get out with his fat. We got it in. We got a person that's, you know, that's going to work. His brother is a worker, so he's going to work. And, you know, brothers bring the best out of each other. So, hey, man, that's good. We got him from Notre Dame, another rival college. But, bruh, this was a great pickup. Let's get it popping. With the 75th pick, uh, I think, I don't know what round that was. I think it was fourth. Might be. I don't know. We got Jonah Jackson, uh, another Ohio State. Um, great pickup. We just lost Rick Wagner, I heard, and Graham G Glasgow. Um, a tackle from Michigan. We just lost him to the Bengals, I suppose, or to the Broncos. One of those orange teams. I think it was the Bengals, though. Um, so this would be good because we then got rid of two of our best guards, two of our best um linemen. To protect Matt Stafford. So, he's good. I'm glad. He might be incorporated into a tackle. You know. All you gotta do is block. So, with the 121st pick, we got Logan Stenberg from T Kentucky. He's another guard. He might be incorporated into the offensive line, too. They might move him to right tackle. Depends on um, if... Taylor Decker could stay healthy. He might play on the opposite side of Taylor Decker. You know? So, yeah, that's a great pickup. Line beef up. With the 166 pick, we got Quintez Cephas. Wide receiver from Wisconsin. He he did us dirty this these past years. I've been watching him. That first year when we didn't have a QB, he, he got in us. He ain't do much the next year because it was the revenge tour. Which was a fail because of the end of the season. But yeah, he did his thing, bro. He literally did his thing. Until Cephas. And then this year, they got rid of us quickly. So yeah, he did his thing. You know, it was it was a great pickup for wide receiver. Because somebody that can fill in for if Marvin Jones get injured again. Because he's starting to have that injury bug. So yeah. With the, with the 172nd pick, we got Jalen Huntley, a running back from New Mexico State. Um, I don't know much about him, but he could be incorporated into maybe special teams if he make the squad. If not, he'll be a great practice squad. You know, be ready just in case our running backs can't come in. And, you know... Yeah, he's just another addition to the running back family. I don't know much about him, so I, I can't really talk that much about him. 197 pick, we got John Pennyseny from Utah D tackle. Great pickup. We need we need D line. Like I said, he can take over for um Snacks. Since Snacks got out, he can take over for Snacks. He's a D tackle. Snacks is a D tackle. You know. He's from Utah, so I know he's pretty good. So, yeah. And our last pick, the 235th pick of the seventh round, we got J Jason. No, we got Jason Cornell, Elon from Ohio State. Um, I ain't really hear much about him from Ohio State, to be honest. Um, I, I guess he was good. Not, sent, not being, like, shady, but I never. I heard, you know, Hamilton, Chase Young, and things like that, but. I, you never really, I never really heard of Jay Sean Cornell. Not that I tried to hear because I'm Michigan, but even when we went against him, I never heard his name called for a tackle or whatever. So he's from Ohio State, so I'm predicting him to be a great talent. He's from Ohio State. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. Like, if he's from Ohio State, he's got to be good. Have to be. So we say. So. I think we did a great job. We drafted, you know, most of our line. We drafted most of the positions we needed. We needed a wide receiver, just in case Marvin Jones is injured. We needed a. We didn't need a running back, but it's great that we got a running back in DeAndre Swift. Cause if we got him, he could, he's going to start right away. No cap, he's going to start. He's not for to sit on the sideline. So we got 
Quintez Cephas. We got two guards, and we got the we got the Aqua War brother. So yeah, out of all these, they are potential starters. You know, Jeff Akuda, he could be a potential starter. You know, or might get some snaps in. You feel me? He might play a little bit of nickel. He might play back. He's an athlete, so I'm expecting a quarter of these guys to start for real, for real. You know, I'm expecting Jeff Okuda to at least get some snaps in for like 10 out of 16 games, if not 13 out of 16. I'm expecting, I'm expecting DeAndre Swift to start. I'm expecting Jonah Jackson to start. I'm, smack, I'm expecting the other guard to start. And I'm expecting the Robert brother to start. Those five people, I'm expecting to start for real, for real. I'm expecting to get in, get in this work, and help us for a playoff push or maybe more. You know, I'm not saying this is a potential Super Bowl winning talent. It is, but I'm not saying this year is it. Because Brady still Brady. People might say he's not going to do as good, but he got weapons now. How they just drafted and, and Gronk is back. They gonna be they gonna be a team to to beat, team to beat for real for real. But yeah, let me know what y'all think of Detroit fans. What did y'all think? Did y'all think this is a great draft? Did y'all think we missed out on some people? There is some people we missed out on Donovan People Jones. We could have got him instead of Cephas, but it will work. It will work out. Cephas is a great playmaker as well. I wish really wish we would have got Donovan People Jones. We didn't missed out on that. But yeah. Tell me what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.